They say that before the reality comes the dream. And now it has become a reality. The settings are in place and the machines are being tested before the first guest arrives. For this is the 21st century concept of a hospital. A place where people come to heal in a cheerful environment. Life is the most important thing here. The people are not inmates. They will be welcomed and taken care of like honored guests. And the Tahir Heart Institute is ready to do so. Starting from the lowest level, the basement. The large, fully equipped care, 1,500 to 2,000 meals a day. Not far from the kitchen is the laundry. It takes only two hours for the clothes from the entire hospital to be washed, dried and ironed. There is a special machine for infected clothes and they are washed and disinfected separately. On the same level is the central oxygen supply. In this hospital, there are no cumbersome oxygen tanks. On the level upstairs, each bed is fitted with an oxygen valve. The system has been imported from Turkey. The second level is the ground floor. On this floor is the main outpatient department, or OPD. The lobby has a seating capacity of more than 170 people, with room for more seats in the future. There is a Qmatic patient flow system, the first of its kind in the country. As each guest comes in, he will go to the Qmatic machine where he will be given a token with a number on it. By this the patient can figure out which OPD room he is supposed to visit and estimate an approximate waiting time. He will then go to the vital signs room where the physician's assistant will update his or her record. This is done to assist the doctor in having access to a complete computerized medical record of the patient. If need be, the patient can visit the ECHO and ETT rooms and have his tests done. Or the digital x-ray room. X-rays can be taken here and then sent to the guest's doctor through the computerized medical record system. There is a plasma screen TV in the lobby as well as in the cafeteria and all numbers on the tokens are displayed on them. So wherever the guest may be, he can keep track of just when he needs to rush to the doctor's office. Also on the ground floor is the auditorium, which has already hosted a major medical convention. It has a seating capacity of 280 people. There is Wi-Fi and a state-of-the-art audio-visual system as well as internet access. So that people seated here have access to material anywhere in the world. Thus, are live teaching sessions made more accessible and informative. The control room of the show informative and educative public awareness programs on the subject of the heart to our guests and their families. Also on the ground floor is the in-house pharmacy. It is a state-of-the-art affair which is also fully computerized. On the second floor is the entrance for inpatients, or rather guests, staying at the hospital.
reception is manned 24 hours a day. Cardiac emergency is the most important area on this level. There are five beds in the critical bay, one with a ventilator. There is also a facility to put in pacemakers. The coronary care unit is also situated on this floor. It is a 15-bedded unit, including five private rooms. Apart from the special cardiac beds, this unit has ports for 24-hour oxygen supply, monitors, infusion pumps, suction machines, ventilators, and even a room where the guests' attendants can sit. In addition to these features, every bed has a remote-controlled nurse call system. This system has a built-in time check device, which will record how promptly the call is answered by the nurse. The pathology lab is fully equipped with the latest blood gas analyzer, automated hematology analyzer, and chemistry and immunoassay analyzers. The male cardiac ward is located on the fourth level. There is one washroom for every bay, that is, for every two beds. There is a special private room known as the presidential suite, which has a lounge and internet access, as well as all the other facilities. The library is stocked with books on all aspects of heart disease. This is a repository of knowledge of the ancient art of healing the sick. Security control is also on this floor with IP cameras and offices for the staff. On this floor there is a bridge. The fourth floor is for the women, as well as the rehabilitation center and the gym. In the rehabilitation center, physiotherapy is done, which is all in is the step-down unit, known as HDU, for guests who have been through surgery or have just been released from intensive care. Before they go to the wards or private rooms, they are brought here. In this area, nursing care is more vigilant than in the wards where there are comparatively stable patients. An extra step is added to the care of our guests. On the fifth floor is the catheterization lab with the latest equipment and technology. The angio machine is a five-axis machine with 3D option which will help in diagnosis of heart problems. It is the first of its kind in Pakistan. A state-of-the-art operating theatre, which should always be near the cath lab, is on the same floor. It is linked to the auditorium for teaching and research purposes. For this was the dream that has now become a reality.